the lysosome and the peroxisomes. They are both called as the waste disposal of the cell. They are small, rounded, spherical shaped structure that contains chemicals such as hydrolytic enzymes that breaks down or digest the molecules and organelles. The Golgi bodies. Within the endoplasmic reticulum, they appear as a flattened collection of sucks and tubes. Golgi bodies are known to be the cell's male room. They receive proteins, package it, and distribute them to every part of the cell. Mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is said to be the powerhouse of the cell, both for plants and animals. It is a sausage shaped structure which is composed of a possible life with bilayer. During cellular respiration, mitochondria produces an ATP molecule. It provides energy for all the cell activities. An individual that demands a higher energy will need more and more mitochondria. The cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton maintains the shape of the cell or it is regarded as the framework of the cell. It is a structural support that includes the thread-like microfilament made of proteins and the microtubules, which is a thin, hollow tube. Chloroplast. Chloroplasts are only present among plant cells and other protists. It is responsible for photosynthesis, and this is where photosynthesis is happening. It captures energy from the sunlight and gives plants the green color. It becomes green because of the green pigments called chlorophyll. Flagella and cilia. These are appendages attached to the plasma membrane for movement. In the respiratory tract, it is being lined with cilia, a microscopic hair-like projection that propels and moves waves to remove dust and particle when you cut. Another unique structure among bacteria is the flagella. This refers to a little tail that helps them move and propel itself. Only human cells with flagellum are the sperm cell. The centrioles. It appears as a rod-like structure and aids in cell division. During mitosis, it plays an important role in the distribution of chromosomes. It migrates to the opposite poles and produces a spindle apparatus. The plasma membrane. Cell membrane separates the cell from its environment, or it separates one cell from another cell. It forms from the outside boundary among animal cells. But in plant cell, it is inwardly bound. Its main function is to control the substances that comes in and out of the cell, the likes of food and oxygen in yet selectively rejects harmful waste product. The cell wall. Only plants possess a cell wall. Animal cells never have a cell wall. Plant cells are rectangular in shape due to the presence of cell walls which can be found outside the cell membrane which supports shape 
and protects it. Comparison between plants and cell and animal cells. Plant cells do have plastid or chloroplasts. It has cell wall and it has a central vacuole as well as plasmodesmata, while animals do not possess all those. Animal cells do have centrioles and cholesterol in cell membrane, while plants do not have it. Glucose is being stored in plants as starch, while in animal, it is in glycogen form. And finally, plant cells have a fixed, regular shape, while animal cells do have an amorphous shape. That's the end of the presentation. I hope it helps. And let's check your comprehension. You may pause the video and answer the questions. Good luck.